a 3D game deserves a 3D main menu. So let's dive into Giro. For this tutorial, I will be using a reflections demo linked in the description. So I'm gonna hit the plus button and search for button. And this button in the text could say play. Then I'm gonna make a second button by selecting it and hitting Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'm gonna move this second button down and this one will say options. And a third one that I will say quit. And now we have our buttons, but we can't actually see the 3D background. If I go into the 3D tab, we have this beautiful background here. And to see it inside of the 2D view, we need a camera. So I'm gonna hit the plus button and search for a camera. And right now it's all the way over here, but I want it up here. So I'm gonna select the camera and I'm gonna hit Ctrl, Alt, M. And that will snap the camera to my view. So if I hit preview, it will be the same. And if I were to run this now, it will technically work, but I won't be able to see it inside of the 2D view. And if I want to see it in the 2D view, we will have to add a few more nodes into the scene. So I'm going to hit the plus button and I'm going to search for sub. And what we want is the sub viewport container. And it gives a warning that it's supposed to have a sub viewport as a child. So we will add a sub viewport as well. Now if I drag in the camera into the sub viewport, and go into the 2D tab, I will be able to see my camera in the 2D view. It's not the right size currently. You can select the sub viewport container and on the anchor preset, set it to full rect and then hit stretch. And in the size for the sub viewport, it will update to match the window. And after that, you're pretty much done with getting the 3D view inside of the 2D view. And now after I have done that, I will drag the sub viewport container above the buttons so they become visible. And now when I can see them, I want them to be aligned in order. And a nice way to do that is to add another node. And that node is a container and I want them to be aligned vertically. So I'm going to add a VBox container and I'm going to set its anchor to the center. And then I'm just going to drag in all the buttons into the VBox container and they will just be positioned nicely there. Then if I hold in Alt while I change the size, it will change on both sides. Here's if I don't hold in Alt, and here's if I hold in Alt. I want it to be something like that. And now if I run my scene, I have my buttons here and a 3D background. This background doesn't seem like much more than a static image. So I could add an animation player to my scene. Animation player and make a new animation. I'm going to set it to autoplay on load. I'm going to make it 10 seconds, select the camera and then key its position and rotation. I'm going to drag the cursor in the animation to the end and I want it to look over here. So I'm going to select the camera and hit Ctrl Alt M to snap to my view. And then I'm going to key it again on the position and the rotation. And if I play the level again, the animation will play and I have the buttons. Thanks for watching and special thanks to my members. For source code, custom videos or coaching, check out my Ko-Fi and I'll see you in the next one.